And so I sometimes was a bit, you know, offhand or rude or abrasive about the scripts or whatever it was. Writers never dared come to read through some things because Tom was notoriously scathing about things that he didn't like in a script. Writers, I think, felt terribly hurt because they thought that their words that they'd slaved over were not managing to keep their leading man awake, and they weren't. Okay, Jonas, happy? Happy, you can hardly, it's yeah. ecstasy. I never, ever heard Tom say anything about any other actor in the cast, but he could be absolutely lethal with directors. Suddenly banged a door. Oh, whoever banged that door. He was very... Was in the studio one day, poor Alan Bromley, repeating something about seven times to Tom from the control room via the first assistant on the floor. The atmosphere was, was pretty bad. And Tom eventually saying, what? What is he saying? Grabbing the boom mic and saying, could somebody tell me what's going on up there? I'm getting psittacosis listening to that parrot. Tom Baker doesn't suffer fools gladly. I'm not saying that Alan Bromley's a fool, but there was obviously a conflict. And vicious six-part adventure by Douglas Adams called Sharda. It was the epitome of Douglasness. Sharda, really, it was. I was just trying to try to gild this rather dreary two-shot here, which looks as if we're advertising something. I think it would be quite nice if it would be able to marry a Norman. That when, just as our cue comes up, if Mary actually was going to say something, to be honest, you know, and then we actually get away like that. I know it's uh, awesome. Fine, lovely. But yeah, do you uh, want a cue? Or will you take your cue from I'll take his... my cue from John. Right. Well, I can, I can waggle my ducks. No, no, don't waggle. Don't waggle. No, no, no. Don't waggle. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. no, no. no, no. Oh, right.